What's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rise. We're back here at Jaguar Land Rover St. Petersburg because guess what? I have that one supercharged SUV that really is going to quicken your pulse. It's this vehicle right here. This is a 2024 Jaguar F-Pace SVR. But before we get into this black on black performance British brand SUV, let's talk about what's going on here. Jaguar. That brand goes back for over 100 years. And when you think about it, Jaguar was there every step of the way, bringing performance, engineering, and high luxury. Now, of course, to get that done, Jaguar has had to really do some amazing things on the racetrack. And they have. They've won the coveted 24 Hours of Le Mans a couple times, obviously Sebring, 24 hours of Daytona and many other endurance races in between. Growing up, I used to have a poster of the ultimate Jag to me, which is the XJ220. But what's interesting is that Jaguar is on the cusp of changing everything, going towards pure electrification. So what I want to find out is, if you're looking for a performance SUV, you're looking at BMW and all of their interesting geometric gloss black crazy design, if you're looking at an, a Mercedes AMG or even an Audi, is this the best new performance luxury SUV to buy? Let's go ahead, let's dive into this SF Pace SVR and find out. Right off the bat, the shape. It's interesting because no matter how many times I see one of these, I still feel like I find something new to fall in love with. At the front of the business, you're going to get that signature Jaguar daytime running lamp. That J, you can see the J, J for Joe, J for Jaguar, J for Jolly. And I'm telling you right now, when we go on throttle, I'm sure I'm going to get a little happy driving this thing. You got all LED headlights, daytime running lamps, and turn singles, all in a nicely shaped headlight housing. Almost looks like a cat, a cat eye working your way down, massive. I mean, you could take a freaking cantaloupe and put it inside this opening if this was not here. So you have some gloss black, gonna bring lots of cool air for those heat exchangers, and we have functional air curtains that are gonna channel air down the side of the vehicle. Love the way they do the aggressive front end, specific on the SVR. Now, as we come across that iconic grill shape. This is a design that you look over the years at Jaguar, has got a very interesting grill design. Of course, you're going to have forward-facing camera, the screaming Jaguar, that thing's going to freaking bite you right in your neck and rip your head off, and SVR, special vehicle operations, this being the top dog, the R with the supercharged V8. On the lower end, same thing, functionality. And I like the way they use the same grill design on the corners that they did on the bottom portion. I don't know if Steven could show you, but there's functional shutters there that will open and close to bring more or less air, depending on what you need. And we have, of course, this nice splitter that goes all the way across. Now, the one zonk I do want to point out, and it's not really a huge zonk, is that I wish that this was opened a little bit more. So it is functional. I just would like to see a little bit more brake cooling going on. But other than that, this is definitely one mean, lean kitty cat at the front of the business. Now, as we rise up, you're going to get your bulge. So everybody likes to have that bulge, whether it's in your arms, whether it's on the hood or somewhere else on your body. You do have functional heat extractors on both sides, going to help draw that hot air out. And then as I come around the bend, and I swap places with Steven. This is where things just get ginormous. Besides the bulge, besides those heat extractors, look at what we have. These 22 inch wheels. Love the gloss black painted, this satin, sort of like a gunmetal metallic gray finish on each of the spokes. You'll notice, of course, that ginormous Brembo caliper. That's the size of one of the largest British scones you've ever found. Like maybe a nice cranberry scone. That's how big that brake caliper is. Of course, we're going to have adaptive suspension, all four corners. And you'll also notice that we have almost 15 inch rotors all the way around this thing. The way that they paint the fender trim all the way around, 
looks really clean. And then I'm gonna have Steven swing around and show you that functional side fender vent there looking fantastic. But that's the name of the game. It's not just about performance, not just about the look, it's about the functionality. And this F-Pace brings the functionality. Gloss black on your mirror caps. I like the way they kind of tint the turn signals. You got 360 degree cameras, very low roof rails. I almost feel like they should have just left these off, at least on the SVR. So I am going to zonk the roof rails, but you have a ginormous panoramic roof along the bottom portion. That aggressive side sill for aerodynamics extends out. And when we look at the rear wheels and tires, those Pirelli Scorpion tires, 295 on the rear, 295. And remember, this is real wheel drive base, but we have all wheel drive to send the power to all four corners. Love the way they put a nice little fender flare because these tires and wheels kind of just stick out just a little bit to where you know that this is all about the business. And then when we swing around the back, I'm gonna watch out for this tree. You have a nice low roof spoiler. I wish that they would give it a little bit more kick up, but you do get a little bit of kick. I would like a bigger kick on this back portion. Your LED brake light, super clean. Take this, please Jaguar, take this, hide it underneath here. Look at all this space. I can fit my whole hand underneath here. Put that underneath because it would clean up the tail end of this Jaguar. You got the leaping Jaguar. That's what they call that cat, leaping, as it's about to kill you. The Jaguar name and then the way they do their LED lighting. Very, very unique compared to the competition. They hide that DOT required reflector very well in that rear bumper area. And then coming all the way down, you'll notice that we have a nice aggressive lower bumper area, quad tip exhaust. You can make it loud, you can make it quiet, I prefer to go loud, and yes, you could be the fastest with your wave runner down at the boat ramp because you can tow with this F-Pace SVR. But since we're talking about it, it looks good, let's pop the hood and see how much horsepower this kitty cat has. Hey guys, we got the hood popped. You could see, I want Steven to show you those functional heat extractors. Nice to have that on the underside of the hood. And then look at this thing of beauty. No plastic covering this engine, this V8. Right up top, this guy right here, that's your supercharger. What are we looking at power-wise? We are looking at a five liter supercharged V8 pumping out 550 horsepower, 516 pound-feet of torque, bolted to a ZF eight-speed automatic transmission, zero to 60 in about 3.5 seconds, quarter mile in 12 seconds flat, Top speed is a tick under 180 miles an hour. MPGs, 15 in the city, 22 on the highway, and the vehicle weighs around 4,800 pounds. So like I've said before, I'm shocked that they made a 2024 model of this. I thought for sure it'd be gone by now, but it's still great to be able to have the opportunity to not only showcase, but maybe for you to even buy one of these, having that five liter supercharged V8, the days are numbered, this is it. But why don't we go ahead, let's fire it up and hear what it sounds like. guys we are here in this f-pace svr and i'm telling you i necessarily went and buy a black vehicle i did that once and all the stories you hear are true but this one is looking so good with the black exterior the black wheels and this color interior is just mind-blowing now i know you're saying to yourself well joe i want to be different all of my neighbors they got bmws they got uh, Mercedes, they got Audis, they have even Volvos. I want to be different, but I also like to go on throttle and I like to let people hear me go on throttle. I'm digging this vehicle. How much is it? Very good question. And I'm proud of you for being different. Don't be like everybody else. It's not worth it. MSRP though, on this particular one, $99,975. So let's call it for what it is. $100,000. Let's see what you get for the money. 
to the door panels. Absolutely sexy, drop dead gorgeous. I love the leather up top, the stitching, that carbon fiber material. You got the Meridian premium sound system, 11 speakers, three memory seat settings, Alcantara just poured all over that middle section. No gloss black, which is great. Down in the door pocket, you'll easily be able to get a bangers and mash, a plate of bangers and mash, and a bottle of Sprite to wash it down. The red with the black just looks gorgeous. Going from the door panel to the dash, more of that carbon fiber style material, the Alcantara, the leather, the red. This red color is just so perfect. On the side here, you'll notice how you have a pass-through. You could play fingers with yourself, fingsies, but you do have a pass-through where you could put a small purse, a merce, maybe a, a, a sack or a satchel, as long as it's a small sack. If you have a small sack, you're fine. If you don't, it ain't fitting underneath there. Now what you're gonna get, infotainment system-wise, is that 11.4 inch. I love the way it's got a nice curve to it. Yes, it's not perfectly blended into the dash, but they did a good job with it kind of being very easy to get to. Full touchscreen capability. Of course, you have all that easy access to it. You can move it around, go back to the maps. I could go ahead and do the modes for you, which you twist the knob, and I'll show you more of this when you come to the business side, but let me throw it into reverse. We do have a nice clear resolution trajectory. The only zonk is I needed to take up more of the space here. This is, this is not good. Give me more, please. I need more. But you put it back in the park, and you're right back where you started. You could do 360. Look at that. There's us with the door. Look, Steven's got the door open. It'd be funny if Steven was hanging out. It'd be even better, though, if this was actually an SVR and not something with silver wheels. That doesn't match. That's a zonk. But we'll go right back to home. Working our way down. This is that cool system of pull to adjust the blower fan. Push. Now I can adjust your ventilated seats, or I could go heated seats, or I could go back to nothing. So nice, easy to figure out. Once you get the hang of it, it's not that big of a deal. Wireless charging, I'll be honest, this used to scare me. I used to see this, I'm like, God, how many different things can I do with one knob? But it's actually easy now. Wireless charging, look at the way they did the SVR on the shifter here on the back side. That's gonna control your eight-speed automatic, your start-stop button, I love this aluminum finish. You got your little mode selector knob. I'll show you that when you come to the business side of things. Put that back in there. And then some flat black, but you slide this open. Two cup holders. You got a place where you could put, I would say, 10 pieces of Bazooka Joe, Joe bubble gum. You got a 12 volt. Definitely want a radar detector in this thing. And then here's your Jaguar key fob. I wish it had SVR. It's not the most exciting key fob, but it's got all the functions that you want. Close that back up. Not the softest armrest, but boy, is it nice to touch and to look at. Lift it up. We got a little bit of a book in here for Sirius XM. I don't care about that. USB-C, USB-A. And you could easily put, I would say, three slinkies in there. So you could put your three slinkies in there. And the best part is a slinky, it's fun for a boy and a girl. And you could have three slinkies in there. Seats, these things are a work of art. The SVR the Alcantara, the Jaguar, the bolstering. These are freaking race seats. Full power assist for the passenger. Obviously full power assist for the driver. Alcantara soft as a pussycat with that Alcantara. And then of course, you open up the shade, power shade. Really nice operation. But why don't you get your butt over here? I wanna show you behind the wheel of this Jag. Right, guys, business time behind the wheel. You do have a Jaguar aluminum sill plate. Lights up at nice LED lighting. Down in the foot well, in that pedal box, you have aluminum brake pedal, aluminum throttle, WTF. What the heck is going on? You have a dead pedal, but I don't want it carpeted. I want it to be aluminum like the other two pedals. And thank God that door chime finally stopped. But you got a good size amount of room down here for people even with bigger feet like myself. And then of course you have your seat controls. They're easy to get to multi-adjustable. You could even adjust the bolstering, which is nice to hold you into place. But once you sit in these seats, you almost don't want to get out. That's how good they feel. I got plenty of room. I'm six feet tall, plenty of room uh, with 
the way that the headliner is, even with the panoramic roof. And then of course the steering wheel, two piece leather. Look at the way they did the stitching, different color all the way around. You got your SVR logo, love the leaping jag on the horn button, metal, not plastic, metal paddles for that eight speed automatic. It is an electric tilting and telescoping steering wheel. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful gauge display in the center. You do have a heated steering wheel. And then like I was pointing out earlier, you could go into your different modes and it changes the screen a little. If you wanna hug a bush, you wanna hug a tree, just go into eco mode. And we even have slippery when wet, that snow, when things get snowy and wet, that's the Bon Jovi mode that you want. I'm gonna leave it in dynamic. Dynamic is about sport and performance and you got a head up display. But why don't we get into the back seat because I'm ready to go on throttle in this SVR. All right guys, back seat time. And that's the great thing about this vehicle is you really get to share that supercharged V8 excitement with more than just one other person. Love the backs of these seats, the stitching, the leather, zonk in this. You put a couple Twinkies in here, you're gonna bust cream all over this beautiful interior. So I'd rather there just not even be any cargo net and just hold on to your own Twinkies. Command center, I wish they would have went black because this is plastic and the red is just not jiving with the rest of the red leather in here. So I am gonna zonk the color, but I do like the way you have AC vents. And for a hundred grand, I do want the heated seats, but I want it ventilated seats as well. You got them up front, I want them in the back for hundred Gs. USB-Cs, and you have a nice home power source. Well, that's not a home power source, it's a 12 volt. And then I don't like, I wish there was some kind of tray here. Maybe even a 12, maybe even a home power force, uh, power source since you got the 12 volt and to have a home power source would be nice. But the seats are actually really comfortable. Lots of headroom back here. Pull this down, mmm. Charmin soft, two cup holders. And you'll notice that they did the seats very similar to the ones up front, even with a little bit of bolstering, because you're gonna need it trying to hold on back here as your driver is going through the twisty bits. But why don't we get in that cargo area because I wanna go take you for a little spin. So let's get back there and see what we can do. Right, cargo area time, real simple. Hit that button underneath, nice electric assist. It's actually quite surprising how usable this is. Now let me point out a couple things. You have, of course, the required Norschleife, when you're gonna take this to the Nürburgring, that's where you're gonna put your track box of Twinkies. You also have this ginormous Jaguar branded little goodie box back here where you can have all sorts of gifts for your passengers, little different kind of freebies for them. I wonder what's in here. It says, okay to ship. So it was good that they shipped this. Ooh, that's what's in there, wow. And then of course you got those floor mats. Now, if you're wondering how much room do we have back here, you're basically looking at with those seats up, 34 cubic feet of space. Of course you could fold the seats down and what's nice is they give you the handles right here to fold down the rear seats and you have a 12 volt. Just don't stick your finger in there or it's gonna hurt kids. But other than that, usable space, no spare. What are you gonna do? It's about cut and weight, it's about performance. Top speed almost 180 miles an hour. Well, while we go ahead, maybe you don't believe the numbers. I'm the type of person that I need to see proof. Why don't we go on throttle together in this F-Pace SVR and see how good it is. All right, guys, we left Jaguar Land Rover St. Pete. We are inside this stunning Jaguar F-Pace SVR. Of course, I have it in full dynamic mode which is going to be that sport mode and i'm going to shift with the paddles those metal paddles but if you're ready i'm ready from a dead stop to show you that all-wheel drive on throw here we go yeah god jeez louise listen to that sound on those massive brakes nice downshifts I'm telling you right now, the way that this F-Pace builds its power, that torque, and the sound is worth the price of admission. Absolutely worth the price of admission. These seats are spectacular. The way that the interior is laid out is phenomenal. And even the fact that 
in the head up display. It gives me the gear. It's got a gear indicator. It even has the tech built into the head up display. So I could just stay focused. Love the way you have a little bit of Alcantara around the gauge cluster. Like I said, plenty of headroom in here, but it's the sound. It's the sound and the torque. Good feedback coming from the wheel. Look at this, nice and balanced. It's just crazy how this is an SUV. It's not supposed to perform like this, but yet it does. That is the magic of SVO, Special Vehicle Operations, and this being an SVR. It just, it is incredible the work that they put in to this vehicle to where they're able to just get this performance out of a SUV that's mind blowing. I gotta come to a stop again, we gotta go on throttle. Nice freaking jolt back in the seat. Are you ready? I'm freaking ready. All right, throw, here we go. <laughs> That's the sound that I hear when I'm freaking dreaming. I can listen to that all day long. And the fact that they're getting rid of these damn things and going electric, this is where you gotta make a decision and say, you know what? I'm not gonna be left out. I'm not gonna wait because this Jaguar is so fun to drive. It's got the versatility. Say whatever you want about reliability issues but remember when you buy new you are getting a full factory warranty of course and uh you know if it makes you feel any better sell it after the warranty expires or get an extended warranty but i mean just the the finishes in here simply having paddles that are made out of metal just kind of elevates the whole experience. The steering wheel feels so fantastic in your hands. And the color, the two-tone in here is just freaking beautiful. It's just really beautiful. Even when you're barely going on throttle, it feels amazing. But we gotta do this one more time, right? One more time for you, definitely one more time for me. On throttle! On those massive brakes, look at this. Tip it in. Nice power out. Great balance with this right left transition coming up. Look at this. Oh, I tell you, this is what makes me love doing Rady's rides is Yes, we cover all vehicles, that goes without saying, but when I get a chance to get behind the wheel of one, one of these bad boys, I jump for that opportunity any chance I could get. But even the visibility, like with that slanted hatch window, you would think like it would be really tight to look at it. The visibility is great in here. Nice large mirrors without looking too obnoxious and just, love this leather and the seats the seats really hold you in and they're comfy they really really are but we got to get back to jaguar land rover st pete and wrap this one up i hope it's been a good one i'll see you in a split second all right guys it's been an on throttle fun filled day out here at jaguar land rover st pete never got to thank miro and the rest of the team getting us this 2024 Jaguar F-Pace SVR. Let me know what you think. Are you thinking that this is the way to go over the competition from those German brands? Let me know down in that comment section. I don't think anybody could argue with that pure, fun-filled adventure with five liters of displacement and a supercharger to boot on this F-Pace. Let me know down in the comment section if this is the one for you. But if you're new to the channel and you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile. Come back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Radies Rides family. We need to give it up to Stephen Flood. Stephen Flood for 
photography. He loves animals so much, he actually got the tattoo of a jaguar across his back. So we'll have to do some type of Rady's tattoo review with Steven's tats all over his body, especially this new Jaguar. Thank you for your hard work, Steven. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.